Something I really responded to the show about was this notion that an artist exists in a certain circumstance in a certain location and is trying to find a kind of personal way to um, react to maybe even the injustices of that space or the kind of disagreement that the artist has with the way a kind of culture, society is functioning. So with these pieces especially, they, they spoke to me, I think one kind of weird um, parallel I felt that existed in this work was um, that there are a lot of spaces in Tampa that are similarly sort of abandoned and undeveloped and uncared for. And I felt with these pieces, there was a kind of projection that the artist creates in the space of the possibility of something else. And, and that there was a sort, there's a sort of protest in his work, like, I'm not happy with the way things exist, and I have something to say about it, and I have something to reimagine within that space. And I feel like with all the work, he's sort of reimagining another way to think about um, the way that we live in a space and the way that space uh, reflects uh, kind of cultural perceptions or um, creates a kind of cultural experience or societal experience, whether it's um, wanted or not, or accepted or not. So um, the, uh, the, what happened with these, I think these were really interesting too, because it was again a kind of way that the artist in the studio, through this kind of personal interpretation, is trying to deal with um, the external world. So it's, in some ways I see his work as this kind of internal and external dialogue that takes place. And he has a real sense of humor about it. And I think like the use of text, like negacion, negacion en mi sangre, like it's just this idea that no matter what, like I'm going to protest, I'm going to react, and that that's one role that an artist takes. Um, I think quite literally in the piece he is sometimes showing the um, destruction or the potential violence that the artist um, enacts within their work, even if it's symbolic. This one, he makes it even more real by putting the X-Acto knife into the drafting board that you would actually work on and the image of the cut finger and it's like that notion that there's um, a potential violence even though it's not really committed. So I feel like with with all of these works, there's like this recurring sense of um, protest and like this resistance to just accepting the way the terms of, uh, you know, the seemingly terms of agreement that culture, society kind of creates. Um, and for him, it seems like he's always dealing with architecture and space and um, again, that ex external and internal dialogue.